through the monastery. Hey man, the bio curse has been defeated. Wha Suck it, dead mixer. What bi bio curse? Yeah, back in the Dead to Rights, me and Matt been talking about the bio curse affecting our equipment. Well, this is a Sith colony. They're the law. Here. Okay, I'm well, here I, I, I missed out on that. We tried to explain the bio curse to you, and you wouldn't listen. I think we showed you videos about it, and you clearly didn't pay attention. I, I think just good old-fashioned wear and tear is, is responsible for that type of shit. Bio curse. If you're looking to get into the academy, you're going to have a right, tough so time. Right, so those academy Persp fucks. Perspective Sith, huh? Uh, perspective or prospective? Prospective, as in like... Prospective. Like, yes. they could be a Sith later. They might become a Sith. It's possible they're allowed. Schrodinger's Sith. Alright, so, uh, we've got that Ebonhawk over there, we've got the Cantina down there, and we've got the rest of Corbon this way. Well, we gotta talk to Kando... And Jolie at some point. Uh, yeah. In the near future. Got something. Whenever Jolie's lie. right here, luckily. Whenever there's something else to, Did I say to, that? to go. Strange the trick's memory plays on Whatever, you another get older. dialogue path to take. Hey. hey. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? Fuck off, you Jolie. You see me poking and prodding you with qu- Occasionally. You do, actually. Stop being an old coot. Oh, I thought that's it. Stop being be old cool. Oh, I like thought it's a well something to else. But... Old coot, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history, probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Fuck you. Uh, old people love to talk about boring stuff. Look at me. I'm not a kid. I'm, I'm flaking harder so than you are. Not. Fine. Have it your way. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? Yes. I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely I miss everything. having hair. Sound familiar? It's pretty dope. The council Shut was up. never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindu. Whoa! Whoa. Even Whoa. Less so HK, relax. My smuggling career. Just, he just, hasn't vaporized anything. It's just a meat bag. He hasn't vaporized anything in quite a long time. I would never be a spammer. <laughs> At the How? time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress Ah, oh, you're a the nice Senate smuggler. was trying to negotiate a peace. But they were getting nowhere as usual. And I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner. And we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Uh-huh. Where did you get the credits for all the supplies? Well, we Out of your pockets? All the equipment per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just uh, knew had more than they could use. Mm hmm. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. That is. I considered it a tax. That of might greed. be my favorite justification once. ever. A right. You would have given it to me if you were nice, so down. really. <laughs> It's I fine. thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, that was pretty dumb. Yeah, dumbass. <laughs> as I recall, I'm not the only person in this conversation who's been shot down out of the sky recently. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Yeah. Well, that... That was the day I met my wife. Look at HK, confused. Mm -hmm. Not care- give a what? shit. You were married? That's crazy. You know another way to get a wife? But yes. Yeah, you pick one up I at the her. wife store. I, if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. I thought Jedi weren't allowed to have a wife. Hey man, tell lies, eat flies. That's what they say. I don't- I- Bush Delta Bush. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. That's a little continuity one. I'm a little, I'm a little worried about it. It's a continuity one for, for the people that fuck are you, what the paying attention. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, we, we wouldn't I have a second one. On it's mind. possible. No. no, you would not. Oh, I get it. Let fuck off, old man. Uh, should we try Kando? Yeah, let's go talk to Kando. Oh. Get out of here, HK. Gotta talk to Oh, him. yeah, Bastila's gone. I forgot. Yeah, he's gone. She's gone, man. Yeah, what do you want? Whoa! Whoa. 
We fought against the Republic Jesus. forces for some time. Over the Did you catch that sick battles. burn that At Karth start, gets on him? Oh, they were not much of a threat it's the raddest them. burn in the but game it is. Oh, so what we're talking about is if you're hanging out with Karth and Kando, Kando starts making fun of him for the war basic and how Karth's a bitch. Feints, and Karth's like, yeah, but you lost, idiot. You fucking lost the war. Oh, it's so and good. And then, and then, uh... You abandoned the world to the defenders, line. so that others could be too fortified to strike. You made sacrifices in order to advance your goals. Such strategies had never been enough to best us before. In the end, you proved too much for us. He so, so he's like, I'm a warrior, and we love battle, and it's awesome. What's your Karth? Karth. I don't get your. What's your big deal? I thought you'd you'd understand. And Karth is like, I'm not a warrior, I'm a soldier. It's different. I protect people and I save the day. Like, it's a huge distinction. <laughs> and, and Kando's like, whatever it takes to get you to sleep at night. Is that what you tell yourself? Right? And then they go on like, hey, you lost the war. We totally destroyed you. With so our yeah, we have one fifth your guys. You had the Jedi. You had, oh, we still kicked your asses so good. And Karth is like, is that what you tell yourself to get to sleep at night? And Kando's <laughs> just like, mm. <laughs> Good bird. Good burn, laser burn right good, there. Good job, Karth. You got the you got the burn. Lightsaber cut. Uh, what about the Sith though? Yeah, what about him? Actually, no way. You couldn't have won against everybody. <laughs> like, but it was close. The Yuuzhan Vong so close. were pretty it formidable, like the but the entire galaxy was within our grasp. You know, I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor Five. Oh yeah. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. What happened there? It you was lost. Not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, you, that the Republic prevailed. Your strategies and tactics defeated the best we could send against you. Even Mandalore himself was <laughs> taken aback by the ferocity of your attacks, the tenacity of your defenses, and the subtleties of your plans. You fought us to a standstill and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Man, the fact that the Mandalorians have a guy called Mandalore. Is yeah, the best. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not going to ask why you didn't retreat, and I don't want to say the Republic will always prevail. So, yeah, the retreat one seems like a better option. Fucking... Yeah, basically. Yeah. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And you won. I hold no grudge against you, nor do any of my people. It was the greatest of honors to fight against you, even in defeat. It is even more of an honor to fight beside you now. Had you been born of the Mandalorian clans, surely nothing in this galaxy would have been able to stop us. Yeah, but, but then for the past you wouldn't to be have been a Jedi or anything. Better look to the future, as we should now. The we'll that's about the luckiest later, you can get your, your enemies you to, to like, look at you. You know? Oh man, you're really Your cool. Like I'm that, because that's super done, never right. what happens with like normal people. Listen, well, you if, just get... if you went to the boxing uh, gym and you got into the, the, the oh, who are you going to spar today? Well, okay, you can have a big match. So this guy, we flew him in from Japan. His name's Takamura. Yeah? You're yeah. like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's more, it's more yeah. about, it's more along the lines of uh, if you fucking like end up with a character. That, um, you end up with a character that is, uh, 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 that, that you have someone that kills a family member or some shit like that. If that person's usually just gonna be like, well, fuck you forever, I'm out to for revenge. But if on the off chance that the person is like, yo, that was rad, my family member was really strong, but you're even stronger, yeah, I honor well. that shit. Then you're like, whoa, okay, I get a free pass. And hey, this Greedo wants to know about the Evan Hawk. Who wants to know? Hey, I'm Lurza, but I... whatever. I don't know anybody. But I've been waiting on this ship for a while. You got, th you got through the shipment, right? You got out of Terrace, huh? Okay, just give me the stuff. And whatever. Wait, don't you... Okay, what? Davik? The Hawk? You don't know what I'm talking about? Uh, what, 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 what are you doing? This is my ship! Okay, I guess. I don't really actually care. Um, I just want some, some stuff that's on the ship. We got spice. It's on the, on the ship. Is it on the ship? Do you, do you have the spice? You, you, have you seen it? 
Uh, how much is it worth to you? A thousand creds, maybe. What, what do you say? Uh, I can take a look for it. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's red forty-seven. If you get the stuff, just come to me. I'll give you. I'll give you some. Give me some credits. I'll take some money. What do you want? Who are you? I'm trying to get into the Sith Academy. Around here, they call us hopefuls. And why not join the Jedi? <laughs> What do you think your chances are? I've been here for days now, and I haven't drawn any attention at all. I suppose that might be. You just gotta hang out and impress know. them at the front Some gates. Of the yeah. The Sith have shown to other That's so stupid. Yeah, man. Deadly. A Sith is strong. This is really dumb. If it's actually what, like, like a these scrubs hanging out. A Sith is strong enough to be noticed. That's so fucking shit. But it's probably what it would be if it was a big boys club with a wall. Yeah. There'd be a bunch of assholes outside being like, Hey, look out, fucking tough. Yeah, wow. Kando, Kando. You, look at me, though, Kando. Look at me. All right. How does one get in? I wish I knew to tell you the you truth. You don't know. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Yeah. Either Just way, stab a child in the, the mess decision. hall. She's a Twi'lek Sith master Why not here. just Very become a Jedi, She's the one who or at least to attempt to be a, become a Padawan, out. and then flip? It'll probably give you a better chance. Because you can't become a Jedi normally when you're an adult. Yeah, that's true. You gotta have. They won't. Yeah. They won't take new recruits. That's they, true. That's true. Really they only take the kids. Where's the big trick with their bullshit? The you gotta the mold them while they're spongy. But I guess she could be anywhere. Why not join the Jedi? After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. The girls. I guess you're not familiar with the concept of there being, like, even balance on both sides, right? No. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. Right. Yeah, I brought this up. Because if the average person knew about that, then... I, I brought this up in, in, uh, in like, part two, two at some point. Mm -hmm. But that was ages, ages ago. You, you very likely forgot, and I don't blame you. But in the second game, when they talk about this conflict, mm -hmm. they call it the Jedi Civil War. And uh, your character has the option of going, like, what? Okay. It was the Sith. And the response is... Do you think anyone cares? Right, right, right. You're all just assholes with the force and lightsabers, and you fucked everything up. The distinction to the no one, average person no is it. totally trivial. Yeah, yeah. One of Corban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. Like it, it is. Thanks, friend. This is even dumber because, like, Revan was a Jedi. We got a Pazakar over there. Get him! Kill him! Kill him! Uh, does everybody here know about my fucking shit? In a small colony like this, everyone knows everyone's business. Get out of my it's shit. It's better than thinking too much about all the Sith lurking about here. The Hawk's been in and out of here for ages. You just tell me, sir, sure did. Starport is a good place for, uh, privateers. I'm not saying you are one. The extreme low variety of NPC faces is starting to bug me now. Oh, you're at the end of the game, so this is the point where it would start. It's starting to get to me a little bit. Um, They've tried their best. I've seen every person and had a big dialogue moment or with like every a mission model. with them at least twice. So, um, they try to get away from the, the part where the same NPCs are talking to each other. Sorry. Yeah. But that I'm has happened once or twice. All we get to do is freighter work. No, the Sith certainly provide a lot of that. In case you're forgetting, partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Nah, who cares about them? Like you're just I've that old Jedi master. those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. What are Weird they digging? Artifacts. Looks like alien Star stuff. map. Maybe aliens lived on oh, Korriban yeah, yeah. a long Star time ago. Star map. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith, and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. Korriban's only been oh, settled no, for a He doesn't know about time. the real Sith. So Dude, nobody you. knows. He said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left to something. Those tombs are it's really a, it's important a to secret us. history, yeah, is that, it? That makes the stuff they send us huh. even creepier. I thought it was a known, a known thing. Well, it's a n it, the, okay, here's... The Plinkert reviews actually it's go in into this a little tangentially, right? 
You know how one of the problems in, in the prequel movies is that there is no fish out of water? Everybody knows everything that's going on. Almost every character that you or I or anybody has followed in Star Wars is in a position to know all of the shit. Know what's going on, yeah. They're either Jedi or they work with Jedi or they're Sith. The status quo is, is not going to be explained to anybody. Uh, the, like besides like a young Anakin going, what? There, are, there are like three or four people total ever that are like, what? what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking what though? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and 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 like and the problem is that like times like now where like knowledge changes and things are different. It's kind of like yeah. So what's the over under? Like how many people do no know one. about that? No one knows shit. So the real or ancient Sith are like the, the Jedi. We are thousands of years in the past, and it's still ancient history. The, the Jedi are oh yeah, th tens of thousands of years. The Not Jedi are fucking mystical space wizards. Nobody knows shit about other than they're ah. they're powerful. Now that and the Sith are the same, more What's or less. Thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like to the average person. <laughs> Hey man, I got- Oh my god, everyone is really all over that. Oh, oh, yeah, oh man. Wow. My name's Mika. Or at least the latest owner. You got LOL. some stuff? Everybody who owns the Ebon Hawks, welcome here. Love the Ebon Hawk. Oh my god, that ship. Seriously? Ah, I know some stuff about the Ebon Hawk. Hawk comes down Frequent here. Frequent visitor in the past, though often with a different owner. Holy shit. I mean, yeah, the Ebon Hawk's been used in smuggling, slaving, pirating, oh. the exchange. So no wonder you keep getting attacked out in space. Yeah. Everyone knows whoever's on that thing is probably someone you gotta shoot down. Hey, look at that. That's that fucking ship that's been involved with all crimes. All gets crime ship going by. Got that crime ship. You should probably attack it. Oh man, okay. What can you tell me about those excavations? You don't know. What can you tell me about... <sighs> Surely there must be a way. There is no way. Every NPC has confirmed that you must impress someone. Know about a star map? No, you don't. What is a star map? The old kind of star map. Oh, they could have some star maps in there, I guess. I heard about a star map. In relation to the Sith from their Valley of the Dark Lords. Valley of the Dark Lords. Valley of the Dark Lords Ouch. is a cool location. Cut yourself on all that edge, why don't you? Oh, you got no idea. Sentient? That's a weird one. Because they talk to droids, I guess, a lot. Motherfuckers! Well, I guess I'm trapped. No. But there's a crate over here, oh. so it's okay. Oh man, get HK back in yeah, here. Yeah, but droids are not sentient. Droids I just are realized sapiens. HK isn't here to shit talk people. So that's another problem to begin with. Oh, we gotta fix that in a second. Like, everyone. As you, you well know that how everyone abuses and misuses the. The, the, the They're a slave race. No, no, no. The definition between the difference between sentience and sapience. Oh, it's it's. So it's like sentience means that you have the capability for emotion and your senses, such as sight, uh, sight, smell, taste, uh, touch, and so on and, and so forth. And hearing. Which droids don't have touch? Ah, uh, they should. You can have the sensors if you want to simulate it, I suppose. But either way, the point is that what you really are trying to point, pull, pull a point, the point you're trying to bring across is that they is that think and they're aware, which means which they're sapient. sapient. Yeah, exactly. Sapienza is when uh, wisdom or whatever. Hey, we gotta get HK in here. He's gonna talk shit to all the Sith. You know it. Um, but then I also was given a tip. Oh, uh, the tip for Mando. Yeah. So, okay. All right, Mando you know what? You know what? So here we will do it. We'll do it this way then. Oh. I was given a tip about what to do down here. Uh huh. So I'm gonna do HK and I'm gonna do Jahani. Ah, I see. Uh, you should equip Jahani with some crap then probably. Oh, you're not gonna be fighting for a little while. Is it down in the valley? You gotta talk to Jahani. In the valley. You're right. You're right. You're, you're far right. away from that. Okay. Good. All right. Good. So you can you can get you dump her. All right. And the valley is a nice open space that you can just because you said keeping him in general or keeping jo uh, Jolie around in general. Yeah. But the valley is a specific location. Yeah, that's right. So this is Corbin. When you get a nice vista like this, it's actually kind of pretty. Well, this is a very Star Wars looking planet. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It's a big shit planet made that's, out of rocks. Yeah, exactly. That's what I expect of Star Wars: of rocks and some some crates hanging around those rocks. You can tell in the future they uh, they used the uh, technology they used to make that rock formation to make the god awful Mako levels in Mass Effect One. Uh, <laughs> they didn't. I'm just shitting on them. Okay. 
I love those levels. I unironically love those levels. They're one of my favorite parts of the entire Mass Effect there's, series. There's, there's a way to generate topography like that yeah. really easily. There's something you. to be said about, look, there's a planet. There's an old, and you go down and you drive around on well, it. Well, there's an old piece of software called Bryce 3D where you can just click a button and it makes that. And then you go <sighs> And awesome. then it turns out every single planet's the same absolute shithole. Oh, God. Yes. Rando topography. It's just, just like a whole... Come thing. hang out by the cool wall. Just a Gaggle of losers over Hell yeah. here. I gotta stand at attention. Don't come on, man. What are you doing? I'm trying to prove my worth for the Sith, man. If we stood long enough here, we would be proven worthy. To do to be worthy of anything. How long have you been up to? This is saddest. We've been here for a long time, man. I'm really hungry. Some people have died, but I gotta be strong. I must. I gotta keep standing. This is so. Sad. Uh, well, you know a lot about the Sith. What is the actual nature of this test? Literally, just fucking murder everybody, and show them you're a big tough guy. The whole point is that they tell you to do this, and you get tired of it, and go fuck you, let me in, and that like that's, that's the test. Jesus Christ. He's the Sith. Meckles watching us. He's jerking it. He said we could prove how cool we are. It's Fight Club. It's Fight Club. I gotta be strong, Meckle. Tell me I'm worthy. I'm so strong. Oh my, my creepy God. nut face. You fucking losers. Soon enough, fool. And when you yeah, do, so worth it. I will be there, laughing. And you don't even get to be like the strong force type Sith user. Like you just get to be a soldier guy with shiny armor. No, this is the proper Sith Academy for for for, for, for Jedi for force, types, for force, force people. Users, yeah. Please, don't hurt me. This is not I for soldiering. This, this, this nonsense would not work for soldiering. Sith, Sith Academy. Yeah. Man. Language. They, you, you know what? In the end, the whole confusion yeah, between the races and stuff. Yeah. Probably not a good idea for nah. f in your fiction to do that. No. Nah. Probably just not good, no, not the best type of writing. I don't know. I, I, I should probably read it. It's conceivable. <laughs> nah, it's all not canon now. Don't worry about it. And what if I am? Um... Why are you making those guys stand there, man? I don't care. I know why that you're doing it, point. but sure. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I know, aren't they idiots? Sith. Such idiots. dumbasses. Sith is not a banter, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life no matter the odds. If these stand there and rot and die. As they yeah. Seem, then they deserve their fate. You know what? And then you know what? I actually agree with you. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh, it is. I wonder which one will be the last standing. Should I tell him then that his hopes are in vain, do you think? Why not just shoot them where they stand? It would at least be more direct. That's true Observation. too. Observation. Yes, very efficient. <laughs> yeah! Well, everyone's on board! Course, that's what you would do. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while Eat it in front of them. There's something There's about, like, hour or two, gorging, gorging for yeah, mockery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before I decide Just, like, eating the whole, the like, a whole drumstick <laughs> and, like, choking on it. Wow, he just hooked- he's just- be sprinting to go gorge himself. I must gorge myself. Roast pheasant. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. Bup, bup, bup. Bup, 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 bup. Will any of these work? Let's see. Let's see. I have been conditioned to resist. Of course he has. Yeah. Citizen, please do not. If anyone that. in the I, entire I game. But remember how I expected that last time and it worked? Yeah. Well, this this one actually though. All right, all right, all right, here we go. I am Darth Revan. I was Lord of the Sith. You will let me in. I see. And who might your friends be? It's obvious. I am Berg Darth Revan. Come on. On your way, citizen. Ah, that's the fun, fun. Okay. Well, you guys. Oh, is that, is that you? Did you kill over? That's a dead one. What kind oh, of, you still haven't talked to this loser. What race are you? That's a Twi'lek on the yeah, floor right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I thought I did. Mackle. Oh, here we go. Have I proved my worth? Did he say anything? Okay, you can say he's tricking you. You can say you that go you should go home. home. You no. You can say, no, I'll be going. He didn't say nothing. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything else to do besides yeah. get these people out of here. No, man. 
You gotta get a you gotta get a student medallion. Go ask the guy at the front about a student medallion. At the front? Yeah, that guy, right? The guy in the back, the the guard that turned you away. <sighs> yeah, fuck you. Stand there, you bitch. <gasps> Wait, turn around. Turn around. Go look at the guy. Yeah, you killed him. <gasps> oh, that was that! Yeah! Oh, he just drops over! Yeah, you Because know, I heard the sound effect. Oh, wait, hold up! Leave me be. Oh, I okay, only... Manipulations. Oh. I, I wait just, just a few hours longer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you talking to Meckle? Did Meckle tell you I was a badass? Uh... Okay. He's tricking you. He never let you into the academy. He said you should go home and sit there for you. Not yet, he said your father doesn't attack that guard. Attack that guard! He did? Attack that guard! I can beat up that guard! I can do it right now! Observation. Marvelous elimination of the enemy master. I applaud Attack you. that guard super hard. I'll prove my strength! Now that you're hungry, and you're weak, now you can prove it. Do it. Well, that was easy. Damn. Now you can talk to the guard and tell him how cool you are. I thought you would have made it. How about you, though? You sure? Oh, uh, he, he... Just a few... Uh, he, this guy's actually just gonna... He's determined. His name is Robert Paulson. Hey, what up? Uh, what's this medallion you mentioned? It is the device given to one who has been accepted into the academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. Okay. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one. Which you must then take to Yathora Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls oh. enter the academy. Nailed it. How very clean and clear of you, video game. He is. Thank you. Good Goodbye. Ways. Now go talk to the guy and be like, Haha, I killed all your students! No, no corpses. Yeah, they didn't have anything of value. They're no one of value as well. Like, idiots like that, it's like... Ugh. Idiots There's, like that deserve to die, it's right, Willie? That's it's, what you're saying. Like, and you're ha you're doing it for joining the bad club. Like, yeah. It's, there's just no re like, fuck. You're no no redeeming that. You're, oh man. You're fucking shitty. You're dumb. Oh, so you're stupid. There's a cool Sith hanging out. Take what you in mean. the cantina, being cool. Come on, let's Where'd go find. There she there? is. I can tell from very far away. You spawned in, did you? How are you, Thorbar? Oh, that's like, oh, you're a pink one. They're friends. You're new. Look, uh, do you sound like Mission? You s Let me hear that again. You're your Thorbar, aren't you? I am. No, you Obviously, don't. you have been told. Oh, you've me. got the cool stuff. Is it yeah. your desire then to train at the academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? Yeah. yeah. What if I'm already a Sith? I would consider that an amusing ploy to try and enter the academy. Why? Who will you claim to be? Darth Malak himself? Funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about Darth Revan? What about Revan? Revan is dead. You may have a natural gift for the Force, human, but you've no gift for lies. Well, you can feel it in my bones, though, huh? Destiny. A lot of hopefuls here end up dead. Doesn't seem glorious. What about the Jedi? Where's Malak put in this? I see. Yeah, you serve the dark side, don't you? It is the Jedi who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. Bam! Snap! We are its master. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. Here's the problem, right? And I know it's just character and plot-driven sort of, like, discussions, but my preference strongly would be towards a person that was like, yeah, I just use it. Because it's my thing to use. Then then you're a gray. For right? Sure. But not the you know, the pain and the suffering and the feet. It's like I understand that those emotions allow you to use certain types of powers better. Because they're tied together, right? Yeah. They're tied to those powers, so you can you can Well it's it's more like revel in the it, emo. It, it, it's more like where where do you draw your strength? And the negative emotions are way easier to get a handle on because yeah. you're so much more familiar with them. It's like when they're like member in the in the, in first class or the, like Magneto, your magnet mag, your powers are tied to the feeling of sadness. 
So you have to feel sad every time you use your magnetism? Oh my god, I don't remember that. That's the worst. And it was a whole thing where, like, to do major, major, huge movements, he has to, like, think of something really sad. That's so bad. And so it's a part of his and character. That's dumb. I hate that. So, so it's like that. But here, you know, you have the people that, like, are, like, reveling in it, where you're just kind of like, nah, man, just, just use it, because it's, nah, it's a man. thing to be used. All right, well, uh... How about all the hopefuls end up? No, no so I don't cool. like that. I don't like that. Let's say where does Earthmatic outfit in? Malik is the strongest. Oh yeah, he's of us, only and the, strongest the most important rules. person in the universe right now. Punk bitch that ran away from me like half an hour way. ago. Damn. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this the Sith are stronger. It's like like official policy where your boss is like on the lookout to see if you're gonna fucking kill him. Because we all know about it, but we're like, yeah, we're just still a hierarchy here, and you're still a coffee room. Yeah. It's still a water cooler. Go, go hang out. But one day the water cooler might be poison. <laughs> exactly! That's crazy! It's the worst organizational structure <laughs> consistent possible. You kill each other, huh? 